A long time ago, far across the seven seas, in a land called Turkey, there lived a poor old woman and her pet rooster. Every day she would let the rooster out so the rooster could go around and peck for its own food. But one day while the rooster was out, he was pecking the ground and he found a diamond button. A diamond button. This is wonderful. My mistress will love having this. This is so good. But walking down the road towards him was the Turkish Sultan. Now the Turkish Sultan, he was a big man. He was very big. He wore big pants. His pants were so big he needed servants to hold his pants up. <laughs> well, he walked and he saw the diamond button. He said to one of his servants, You, go get that diamond button for me from that rooster. Bring it back to my treasure house. And the servant did. And the sultan went back. Now the rooster, he was angry. He was mad. That was his diamond button. And he decided he was going to get that back. So he flew all the way to the palace, flew up to the palace window, and he looked down at the Turkish Sultan, and he said, cock a doodle doo you give me back my diamond button. Now this is your part, so let's see if you can do that. cock a doodle doo you give me back my diamond button. The Sultan went, hmm. He was angry. He said, you. Grab that rooster, what I want you to do is take them, and I want you to throw them down a deep well full of water. That will take care of him. So the servant did that. He took the rooster, threw it down a deep well full of water. But what they didn't know is that the rooster had a magic stomach. So the rooster called that magic stomach, magic stomach, drink up all the water in the well. And he did, and the well was dry. The rooster was a little bit bigger. But he didn't drown. And he flew all the way back up to the palace, to the ledge, and he looked down at that Turkish sultan and said, cock a doodle do you give me back my diamond button, <clears throat> said the sultan. And he looked around and he said, you, go get that rooster. I want you to build a big bonfire and I'd throw that rooster in. That will take care of him. And he looked around and he grabbed him threw him towards a big bonfire that they created, but they forgot about his magic stomach. And the rooster said, magic stomach, magic stomach, empty yourself out of all the water I just drank and put out that fire. And that's exactly what he did. And he flew back up to the palace. He landed on the ledge and he looked down at that sultan and said, cock a doo doo you give me back my diamond button. <laughs> He was furious, the sultan. He said, you, get that rooster. I want you to throw him into the middle of a hive full of bees and wasps. Let them sting him. That will take care of him. So that's what they did. They grabbed the rooster. They found a big beehive that was alive with bees and wasps. They threw him right into that middle of that hive. And the rooster said, come my magic stomach. Come my magic stomach. Swallow up all the bees and wasps. And because it was a magic stomach, he didn't get stung at all. But he flew all the way back up um, to the palace, sat on a ledge, looked down at the sultan and said, cock a doo doo you, you give me back my diamond button. Oh, he was madder than mad at that sultan. He said, give me that rooster. And he was trying to think of what, I'll take care of it myself. I don't know what I can do. One of the servants said, well, why don't you tie a rope around his neck and hang him up real high in a tree? And another one said, no, why don't you take a knife? Just chop off its neck. That'll take care of him. Now, it's at this point in the story where I would ask the audience what they thought <laughs> they should do. But I'm going to, because of time, I'm going to skip to the last servant. And the last servant said, well, you're big enough. Why don't you just put them underneath you and sit on them and squish them? Oh, and that's, that's a great idea, said the Sultan. Put them in a sack, you bring them over here, you put them right down beneath my pants, and I'm going to sit down and squish them. Well, you can guess what happened next. <laughs> the rooster said, come my magic stomach, come my magic stomach, let it all the bees and wasps, and let them sting the old Sultan. And the bees and wasps came out, oh, 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 you, you, get that, get that rooster, you take him down to the treasury, give him back my diamond, give him back his diamond button, I don't want to ever see him again. 
So they did. They took the rooster. They brought him down to the treasure house. They put him right inside. And they said, now you get your diamond button and get out. We don't want to see you again. <laughs> there he was in the treasury. There's gold and rubies and diamonds and emeralds. And... Come, my magic stomach. <laughs> Come, my magic stomach. Eat up all the gold and jewels and rubies and emeralds. And he did. He emptied the entire treasury. And he flew back to his mistress. And from what I understand, from that day on, they lived richly and happily ever All right. after. <laughs>